All right, so as you can see with the new update last night, we got two brand new styles for two separate skins. So first up, everyone's favorite female from Save the World, Penny, has got a Halloween-themed style. Check this out. She's got an orange shirt on with a spooky cat on it. And then on the back is the back of the cat as well as a crescent moon. How awesome is that? And then her little face has whiskers and a cat nose. Oh, I didn't even notice there's ears up there as well. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of orange, so I really enjoy this. I'll show you it in game as well. Now next up, the dummy skin. I don't know why he got a style, especially a carbon fiber one. That's clearly not Halloween related. And I think this makes him look even more creepy. Very, very interesting. I don't know what the point of this one was, but you can see it there. He's got that bandana on. I'll show this one in game as well. Now, in addition, his back bling, the wrong turn, got the carbon fiber style as well. This one actually does turn when you move it around, just like its original one. And even the pickaxe, the noggin, got the updated style. So it's very rare that both the back bling and the pickaxe get these additional styles. So I don't know what the point of this is, but hey, I'll take it. So next time he comes to the item shop or she comes to the item shop, you will obviously get these styles with the skin if you buy it. Now we also got two loading screens here. The Corrupted Legend screen, I'm assuming this is for the pack itself. So if you bought the pack, you would have got this, I think. And here it is in full screen. I actually used this as my thumbnail when I did my review on the Corrupted Legends pack, pretty sweet. And in addition, we've got the Daywalker. His name is Blade. So I think you get this for buying the Blade bundle, but again, I'm not quite 100% sure. Here it is in full screen. Kind of creepy, not gonna lie. You see the bats biting him, and he's in an epic duel there. Not too shabby. So all these things for free, if you already own them, obviously. So here you go, let me just show you in the locker. Here's Penny, the original one. And here she is in her updated Halloween form. I actually really like the Halloween one better, just because I'm a huge fan of that orange color. How awesome is that? And if you don't like the face, the little cute whiskers and the nose, don't worry because you're not going to see that part. You're going to see from this side. So I guess you could still see the ears, but from your perspective, it's just an awesome orange and black color. Nice. Now, unfortunately, Penny did not come with a back bling, so you'll have to find your own. Let's see if we can find an orange and black. Well, look at this. There's an orange and black one right there. The little baseball bat from the double play. That doesn't really look good, though. That's almost like a different color orange. Some of the Lava series back blings are kind of orange, but again, they're not the same color orange. You can see there that it's almost like a deep blood orange as opposed to the one that she has. So here's the deflector. That actually fits on her back quite nicely. I like that. But again, the color scheme is a bit off. The dying light is not bad either. Definitely fits on her back quite nicely. Here's the fire vortex. That is, I don't know, that looks kind of weird. This one kind of illuminates the cat and puts him on fire a little bit. So it looks like the trendsetter is the only, whoa, it glitched out there. There, that's almost like the same color, but that kind of looks dumb. She's got such a wide frame that it makes her look kind of weird. I don't know, but that's the only color orange that I can come close to matching there. So since we can't find anything when all else fails, what do we do? Let me show you what we do. We go to the best back bling in the game. The one that goes with absolutely everything. Skadoosh right there, the Black Knight Shield. Boom. Now for a pickaxe, we have the Razor Edge right here. But again, the color scheme's a bit off. I think we got an even better orange pickaxe. Let me just find it. There it is, the Tangerine Terror. I think that'll go quite nicely with her. Now for a glider, I'm going to use my Brella because I made it orange to begin with. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that one. So I don't think I have a true black and orange wrap. I have some of the Lava series, which kind of is orange and black. They need like a Halloween wrap, just straight up black and orange. I guess Burning Glow might work. Actually, oh, I was going to say Dynamic Fire is black and orange, but then it changes colors. Fry Angles? Uh, I guess Call Sign Skull is actually black and orange. Yeah, I'm going to do that one, I think. There you go. That's my loadout for Halloween Penny. Let's see what she looks like in-game. All right, so I changed my mind because you can't see the cat. So I'm going to go ahead and run Penny as she was intended with no back bling because then at least you can see the cat. I kind of wanted to see if it did anything in-game just in case it glowed or reacted some way. I doubt it does, but 
Who knows? So let's hop into a match and we'll take a peek. All right, so here is the Penny skin in game. Let's see what she looks like with my Brella. I'll just, whoa, the sound just went all glitchy there. Yeah, I knew my Brella color would be a bit off because it's a deep blood orange. Not bad though. So Penny is definitely thick. She is one of the thickest characters in the game. But I do enjoy this color scheme. Black and orange is just an awesome color choice, in my opinion. Because she's so large. Whoa, what is that truck? What in the world? What's going on here? Beep. You tried to run me down? Nobody runs Penny over. Oh, my car was it's still glitching out. It's got some hydraulics on it. Ding, 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 ding. Well, while we watch the truck dance, what in the hey batter batter? <laughs> so unfortunately, because Penny is so thick, it makes all the pickaxes she runs way, way small. I mean, it looks like a very tiny pickaxe. There it goes. It calmed down a little bit. Now it's just revving up. Yeah, but look how big she is, especially in her bottom area. And it just makes the pickaxe look so small. I don't know. They need to tone down her waist a little bit, I think. Oh, look, they updated the text on the weapons, too. Nice. So the bullet holes on the wrap kind of go with that silver on her arm. I like that. So let me just spin her around real quick. Yeah, not bad. It'd be super awesome if maybe the cat just lit up at night or the moon. But I doubt it. Nighttime is approaching, though, so we're going to see. All right, now we got full nighttime. Let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna break this rock here. Give me that. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it almost looks a darker orange at night. In fact, it matches the pickaxe now. In the light, that orange on her looks so bright that it doesn't seem to match. But right there, that looks pretty close. Let me spin her around, see if anything glows. I doubt it. No, but I do like that darker orange. That's what it should look like all the time right there. That dark, awesome orange. But unfortunately, it does get a bit lighter in the daylight. That's okay, though. Boy, this is nice. I really like this wrap, too, with her. That's a good choice. Self-high five. So a great style, in my opinion. Really enjoying this. I think I much prefer this over the original, too. But that's just because I'm a massive fan of orange. And like I said, you can barely even notice that she has ears on. I mean, if you look right on the top of her head, yes, you can see them. But just playing and running around casually, you wouldn't even know. This is an overall nice style. I really like this. I'm going to say 8 out of 10 for this one. Not bad at all. All right, so here's the dummy skin in the locker. You can see this is the default. Everything is yellow and black. Oh, there's a little air freshener on that. I'll have to see if that's still on there on the new one. And here is the carbon fiber one. So here's the difference. The scarf turns white. I guess everything that was orange turns white. And everything that was yellow turns carbon fiber. I don't know which one I like better. This looks like a creepy robot right here. Whereas this guy looks more friendly. Terminator robot, friendly robot. All right, here's the back bling, yellow and black. Compared, oh, it loses the air freshener. No, the dangly bit gets removed. I wonder why they did that. Well, to be honest, I think it looks better without it. Yeah, I think so. That's weird, though, that they took that away. Huh. And here is the pickaxe. So let's see what changes here. Basically, just the head, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think... Actually, I think the handle may get a bit more silvery. Just a little. Not much of a change there, though, other than the head. Well, this one's called Carbon. I'm going to do that. That's from, what, Season 5, I think? Yeah, we'll try that. All right, let's check them out in-game. All right, so let's see what this new dummy style looks like. So I have not ran the carbon glider in a while. Why did my sound glitch out again? Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. Nice. That actually matches quite well. And look, underneath there's even yellow to match his little radiation symbols. That's awesome. Another self-high five to me. Well, I never know where the chests are in this place. Get out of my face. I will take all that. Nom, 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 nom. Wow. That was close. 
I messed up there, but that's okay. We killed him. All right, where's this stupid chest at? There it is. Okay, let's take a look. Let me just... All right, so here he is in the shade. Boy, he is like a very, very dark silver. I actually kind of like that. It kind of has some speckles to it as well. There's the pickaxe. What is that noise it makes? Listen, I'm not going to talk, but listen to this weird noise. It's almost like a maraca. You know, like the one of those rattles you shake? Huh. I don't know. That's weird. You can see the wheel kind of jiggles and turns when you move. How about if we spin ourselves around? Yeah, I actually like this style. Again, though, it reminds me of a creepy evil dummy. Not the friendly crash test dummy that we all love. I don't know. He looks kind of scary, though. Not a bad style, though. Oh, shoot. We got another guy creeping over here. Get out of my face! I'm the crash test dummy! That guy got bibbity bopped So there you go, that is the new dummy style. Just like the penny skin, I really enjoy this one. Two great new styles for two great original skins. You can't go wrong. So if you don't own these already, I highly suggest buying them. They're not bad, and now you get one additional style for free.